How do you guys feel tonight? I love language tapes, because they're a real self-esteem booster. Because if you feel bad about yourself, just buy Learn to Speak Spanish. Hello! Welcome to Learn to Speak Spanish, Volume 1, Side A. I'm Rod Tartley. <laughs> and I'll be guiding you through your adventure. Let's begin with some simple questions. Where is the library? Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> Repeat. Um, uh, Don S. Library. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you must be from Mexico. Morgan Freeman does a lot of narration work, but I think he ought to do language tapes. Oh my god. What just happened? That's called. Over there. Keep going. Okay, fine. Please turn the tape over to Side B. I remember when I first met Side B. <laughs> he thought the tapes would be around until his grandpa died. But then CDs came along and oh, well, old side B just couldn't get the business he used to. And I found him hung in his hotel room by his own strand. <laughs> side B was here. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. <laughs> you think Pacific wasn't as blue as it was in his dreams and it pissed him off? Son of a... Angry Morgan Freeman never knows what to say. <laughs> Shoot this motherfucker! <laughs> that made the whole movie wanted for me, I'm sorry. Amen. Did you just say amen yeah. while I was talking? Shoot this motherfucker! <laughs> I hate pickles. Because <laughs> someone needs to tell those cucumbers, hey man, just be yourself. <laughs> You don't have to conform to society's desires for the cucumber. <laughs> Next time you have a sandwich, eat it with cucumbers and not pickles. And if someone asks you why, say because I appreciate people who are true to themselves. <laughs> I love college brochures, because every picture has very diverse groups. But then that never happens in real life. And the first, and the other day I was telling this joke to a few of my friends when I suddenly realized, this is a true story, I was sitting with a white guy, another white guy, an Italian guy, a black guy, and a guy in a wheelchair. And the guy in a wheelchair was also a dwarf. That, you know, all we needed was a blind Vietnamese woman and we would have been the most ethnically diverse group ever in Colorado Springs. <laughs> and there were no friggin' photographers. <laughs> Candy made moment, man. Ever since I moved to Colorado Springs, the radio ads are just a blessing from God. Because every single personality here really shouldn't do their own ads, but do nonetheless. But the best ones, by far, are the Diamond Company ads. I think you guys know the two people I'm talking about. Tom motherfucking Shane and Louisa Graff who are way at the opposite ends of the spectrum. Let me start with Tom Shane. Tom Shane has a voice like a three-foot-tall, balding robot dwarf. <laughs> I'll give you an example. I'm Tom Shane. At the Shane, Co <laughs> the Shane Company has been in Colorado Springs for over eight billion years. <laughs> you see, we were originally but the Shane Coal Company, but then over time, pressure and heat converted <laughs> that coal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just lost it. It's a diamond, which we may sell to you so you might love them like you would your own children. <laughs> the Shane Company, your friend in the diamond business. Just take the Arapaho Road exit and go one half mile east. You remember they changed the ads for a little bit and added a voice at the end going, he's dull, but he's brilliant. That shit stopped quick. Yeah. I think Tom Shane came into the office. What the hell is this crap? <laughs> I am as mad as any man has ever been. <laughs> Guess who's friggin' fired? <laughs> You'll never work in this town again. I can scarcely contain my rage. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you looking at, bitch? <laughs> and then, wait, 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 wait. Way different is Louisa Graff, who emotes beyond the levels of humanity and turns into a turkey. <laughs> 
I'm Louisa Graff. Here at Louisa Graff Diamonds and Jewelers, we have a commitment to make sure that every diamond is... I like to imagine that Tom Shane and her have this elaborate gang war going on. <laughs> like a Sopranos episode. Like she killed his kid Sonny, so he burned down her house. So she had him put in a casket and thrown in a river. But then that night she comes to her house, and in the corner, she hears the sound of dripping water. Hello, Louisa. <laughs> Someone told have t should have told your men, you always check for a body. Like the way we check every diamond at Chain Company for any imperfections before we put it in a cotton box and then stick it in your hand. Your friend on the diamond business. I hate 99%. I hate when any product is 99% of something, because that last 1% is very mysterious. It's like a rat fell in the machine, and they're trying to cover it up. 99% cheese, 1% misc. Huh. I looked that up in the dictionary. I'm none too fond of misc. If someone gave me a sandwich, like, here, you want to eat this? Oh, sure, what's in it? Miscellaneous. Um, is there turkey? In all probability, yeah. I hate that product. I can't believe it's not butter. Because they don't tell you what it is. They just tell you what it's not. So it can be made of toad sphincters, for all I know. I can't believe it's not toad sphincters. You know what? I, I think that's easy to believe. <laughs> that's the end of that joke. Another! And I hate filling out job applications, because they ask you stupid questions. And ask, like, are you a good person? Rate yourself from one to five. Five, duh. Anyway. <laughs> but the questions, they have questions like, do you like to work with your hands? <laughs> I didn't know I had a choice, really. <laughs> if I could sell HDTVs with my feet, I would not be applying at Walmart. I would be applying at the circus. In Japan. Because I feel like that's where circus would, would sell HDTVs. <laughs> but on the other end, I love when people tell me, you like to talk with your hands. Because that's not really true. Because if that were true, I'd be doing this. I'm a hand person. <laughs> that joke was so poor. I don't know how. To, but anyway, I hate when I'm watching TV and I see a guy do this. Because I don't know what that means. But I figured it out. What I do is I hit myself in the chest and then I tell you how many times I did it. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you very much. I'm Jacob Rice. Woo!